Yo, yo, it's ODB, a.k.a. The Lincoln Addict. Want to give a huge shout-out to the Raddies, rocking their hat. You can follow them at the Raddies, R-A-T-T-Y-S, on Instagram. Great people, as I call them, kinfolk. They're out in Cali, always getting people together. Love the videos they're putting together. And uh, most importantly, getting out there and repping the Lincoln Continental, especially of the 60s. Big ups to the kinfolk out west. Recently hit you guys with a video talking about my 1964 Lincoln Continental rear bumper. Want to give you guys a little bit of a progress update. Let's jump right in. So this is the, um, I don't want to say the original bumper. This is the spare bumper that went on the car. Now this came off of a parts car that was totally rotted out. Bumper was solid. And I basically worked a deal with Tony Boss Boland to get the entire back half, which is around the corner at my house here. That's going to become a couch. Um, although you can't really see it here, uh, there's a little bit of rot. I think on this side, you can see wood hole there. Um, although these bumper ends weren't in the greatest condition, I basically um, was very thankful because my bumper was sitting for so long, or my car was sitting, um, and I didn't want to go without a bumper on the car as I kind of cruised it around a little bit, of course. So this bumper served its purpose until... The last update that I gave you guys was the new bumper, or this is the original bumper, but it was re-chromed. So I spent most of the time last time talking about the back side of it, or the outside of it, I should say. This time, I just wanted to kind of hit you guys with a quick update. It's a little bit of a mess in here right now. Uh, there's a car show going on this weekend, so it's just been a kind of a thrash this week. But basically, what I did for now is I reused the original hardware. And I think I mentioned that in the last video. Um, you can always hit, uh, you know, go with a wire brush, um, hit this, you know, and kind of paint them, which eventually I'll probably do. I did um, go up and get new hardware at Home Depot. Usually I'll hit like an Ace, but uh, they were, I think, closed by the time I went up. So I got those on. That's for the bumper guards. Um, the studs is really what I wanted to talk about. There's three on each side, and you can kind of see where the cage nut is at. Um, for whatever reason, they did not put four in here, okay? On each side, I've seen this on multiple bumpers, multiple different years, but um, these guys, I think there's typically three on each side. I've only got four total, so I'm gonna have two on each side. And I do have this bolt, but what I wanted to show you guys is these uh, studs, okay? They typically are probably gonna be hit or miss whether you can get these guys out, okay? I took a vice grip and tried it here, and then I tried further down. Um, there's like kind of a flat spot right there where the other end, where it kind of stops. And this one and the one over there was being a bear. And I was like, I'm not going to spend that much time. I didn't have access to my, my little torch is, is busted. So I'm going to buy a new one. I'm sure with a little bit of heat down here, it'll come right out. You can go and you can buy bolts. Okay. Which I'm going to use on this, which is going to go on the couch eventually. Um, if you have to, but I was talking to my friend, Teresa, it's much easier if you can get these out because these are now threaded in there into the cage bolt and this bumper is heavy, okay? I'm gonna have someone else help me lift it up and then these are gonna go right through the four or the two holes in this case. They're gonna go through the two holes in the uh, car and then I'll just on the back side, I'll tighten a nut on here on, you know, two on each side for the time being. Now you might be asking, well, where's this one? This one is right here. And um, I just didn't put this in the vise or anything right now. It came out like this. So I'm just going to put it back in. You know, once those two are lined up, this one's just going to get tightened in the car like that. You know, it'll be fine. But um, basically, going to have three on each side. And Teresa reminded me there is um, one additional one on each side, which I never realized this. You, I think these are going to take, like, if you don't have the factory ones, I think they're around a four-inch bolt. Um, and I'll have to show that later. I'm not too concerned with those. I've only had three on each side for, the, you know, the last couple of years. 
bumper's fine, of course. Um, what I'm going to do is these I loosened up. My friend Teresa was like, keep these a little loose. Put the bumper up there the first time. And there's just a little bit of wiggle room in these bumper ends. At that point, I'm going to use some masking tape or blue painter's tape. And I'm going to tape off exactly where I want them. Right, Kind of dial them in. Drop the bumper one more time. Have it flip the other way. And have someone help, you know, kind of hold them and just tighten them. That way they look as good and they're kind of positioned where they need to be. There's not a lot of play in them, so it's not going to be that difficult, hopefully. So that's uh, that's one thing. Um, you could easily get a couple more washers and probably some gasket kind of material or some sort of like rubber. These, um, I think, just help kind of space it out from the body just a tad. But again, at least two on each side. Not going to be a challenge, in my opinion. So I'm not too concerned with that. Um, I've got the three over here, of course. Got this a little bit loose, so that'll be good uh, for the original mock-up. Um, the tag lights. Um, it's pretty simple. The tag light, um, I'm not over by the car right now, but you know, you could just you just push it here, and when you drop the bumper, tag light stays up here. And then when this goes back on, you'll just feed the tag light. And there's, there's just two bolts that go right in there. That's really simple. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the reverse lights. The reverse lights, you can just turn them and you could fit them through there and turn them back. These are very, 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 very simple to install for the most part. They have two bolts on each side. And believe it or not, it kind of almost just wedges in there. It's kind of hard to explain. You can't really mess it up. But once you get it on there um, and you tighten, those two bolts tighten into the actual housing of the reverse lights. And it basically just creates almost like that, I think, is how it sits. It creates the tension. You see there's that little lip. And it kind of sits just like, you know, right around there. Now, I wanted to show you, this is, this is what the original looked like. The metal that they made these out of is 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 solid. Um, I've seen these with a lot of surface rust over time, but never junk, okay? Um, you could easily clean this up with a wire brush if you really wanted to, if you're kind of like me, and you could shoot it with some, with some paint. Um, I have several sets of these, and they just look so much nicer to me if you take them to a local guy or a local shop that does powder coating, they'll sandblast them. They'll look a lot better. And then when you pick them up, they'll be powder coated, you know, if that's what you choose. What I did as well is I love this, um, I think I called it, a, I forget, it's not a wrinkle finish, it's like a matte finish. And I'm not concerned necessarily with you know, this, you know, the little bit of pity and stuff on there. Again, that's just cosmetic. Nobody's going to ever see that. But I do value having something that if I've, if I've taken the time to take it off, that is just going to be nice and clean. And, and who knows, I may have paid 20 or $25 for both of those. I don't know, something like that. But, you know, for someone to spend a few minutes to sandblast it, powder coat it, and now it's all clean, boom. That's something that I just, I'm always going to, you know, as long as it's a reasonable price, I'm always going to err on the side of the detail. But um, that's kind of it. Uh, if these studs don't come out, again, you can go with this. Um, these are, I forget if they're half inch. I went to Fastenal. Uh, typically, my understanding is that Fastenal will carry these kind, where it's a stud on both sides. Um... But if they don't, you could go with these, but this is gonna be a little bit tougher. Because with this, you can actually kind of put feed those through the body. And believe it or not, it'll kind of rest on those a little bit to give you a little bit of reprieve as you get the nut on there. So it actually is gonna be easier to use these, but you could get a little bit longer bolt and that type of thing. The main thing is you don't want that cage nut in there to start spinning, because that, that, that becomes a real headache. Because they don't just come right out. You have to cut it out, have someone weld on a nut. I mean, who knows? But you can see how thrashed this bumper is. I wasn't even going to get an attempt to take that hardware off for the bumper guards. 
just no need. I mean, this is gonna go on the couch. Um, it's not, you know, show in any means, but it'll look nice and I'll wire it up, you know, hopefully with the tag light and some tail lights in it, it'll be pretty cool at some point. But more to come. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. If you I'll say this last thing, if you um, do enjoy these Lincolns, uh, I do that free podcast. Just go on any podcast app and search in Lincoln Addict podcast. Typically just Lincoln Addict. But um, you can do that if you've got an iPhone. It already has a purple pre-installed pre -installed podcast app. If you are on Pandora, or Spotify, you name it. Pretty much any platform you can listen to Lincoln Addict. You can even Google. It'll land you on the website and you can listen right there on your browser if you're at a desk all day at work or... Uh, you do a lot of computer work and you just want to keep that browser open um, you could do that so check it out 15 or so episodes a lot more to come obviously a lot more to document but um 64 lincoln continental rear rechromed bumper from advanced plating i detailed the back of it you saw a little bit of the powder coating that's going on and uh, just going to keep plugging away one part at a time like uh good old johnny cash said all right you guys enjoy the weekend if you're in um, in one of the impacted areas in the U S including, you know, with the storms and the fires and stuff, be safe and take care of your family, family first y'all ODB. Yeah. Gotcha. Peace.